This is Live Speak, and I'm Justin the Geek. I'll be taking your calls, answering your questions if I can, filling your head full of nonsense and acting like a fool. Here we go. Enjoy the show. Welcome, everybody, to Live Speak. I am Justin the Geek. I have a great show today. I have a couple of magicians on the show. I got Blake Douglas and Jay Wethington. They have a uh, online course called Hacking Perception, a modern guide to card magic. Say hello, guys. Hello. What's up? Yo. <laughs> we, uh, Blake and Jay and I started talking on, on Udemy. They have a course on there like I do with my speed up your computer, but being that I do or used to do magic myself, I thought it'd be great to have them on and talk about some magic. I know a lot of people don't think that magic is we're talking about for some reason. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's, really not. it's it's uh, inconsequential to the grand scheme of things, I think. But yeah. it's it is a lot of fun. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's a blast! And it, 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 that kind of leads me to one of my questions I was going to ask you: Is like what what else have you learned by learning magic? Because what I started learning. I learned, you know, self-confidence and I learned some math, mm -hmm. you know, what else would you say you've learned either one of you? Blake, yeah. do you want to? Yeah, I'll start it, Jay, because I know that you've got a, um, a much more refined set of things that you know you've learned. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, for me, the, the, the biggest thing was just the ability to, you know, people ask like a lot of times, how do you just talk to anybody or how do you just find yourself connecting with people or, you know, how do you make the friendships that you do because apparently I make very good like, powerful friendships but um, there's no way to explain it because that's what magic sort of did was um, bring you to a place of understanding how to connect and speak to anybody in the way that they need to be spoken to in order to make them feel important or validated so for me it was just learning how to actually speak to people and how to walk into a room and feel confident in my own skin uh, and being myself uh, and, and being worthy, I guess, of, of uh, being in the presence of just anybody else. So really self-confidence and just understanding people for sure. Yeah, that's huge. And before you go on, Jay, um, I want to mm -hmm. comment on that is that that part has helped me a lot in life with, I mean, I'm sure you guys are the same. You can get along with anyone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know? I can walk into a room where there's tons of different cultures, different ages, genders, doesn't matter, and I can just get along with them because I've learned, like you said, like to speak their language basically and Yeah. It's it's worked out really well. So what about you, Jay? What yeah. else have you learned? Well, you know, I I would also say the same thing that Blake said, you know, you learn how to read people very quickly. You know, when I was doing the bulk of my performing close up in restaurants or uh, at trade shows, you would be able to read a person within the first 10 seconds that they came up to you, how well that they were going to interact with you in a show, you know, if they were going to be good for comedy or if they were going to be serious, you know, all of those different things you you just pick up on those naturally. I think uh, it teaches a lot of other skills like reading comprehension, just to learn a magic trick if you learn it out of a book, to be able to follow directions on how to hold a deck of cards in a position that you have never held a deck of cards in in your life. You know, <laughs> So a lot of different things, you know, hand-eye coordination, definitely the self-confidence for sure. Right. Um, you know, just human behavior in general, you really do learn a whole lot about how human beings interact between each other and what's important, what's not important. It's a, it's a fascinating art that has a lot of applications in a lot of other areas in life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. You also learn that there's a lot more places to hold things with your fingers than you ever did before. <laughs> Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Like, You're like, yeah, just just hook that bag on my pinky. No, it's cool. I've been I've been doing pinky lifts. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> That's funny you say that. Yeah. No, I mean it's it's a great uh, thing because I mean I've had people actually ask me, hey, can you can you teach me a magic trick so I can go get that girl's phone number? 
Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, well, good luck with that. You know, <laughs> you know open up right. with a magic trick. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, you know, when when I was uh, doing a lot of my hanging out in bars doing magic tricks, uh, a, a, one of my girlfriends told me, she was like, if a guy has to do a magic trick to come up to me, you know, that his personality isn't strong enough to, you know, re- really even talk to. So it might not be the best thing to uh, get a girl's number, but it certainly doesn't hurt to impress them like early on. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I've used yeah. it before, not as an opening line because sure. that would be crazy. But <laughs> Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, hey, you want to see a magic trick? That's just creepy. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Silk. Yeah. <laughs> this natural ordinary silk that I just have to have. <laughs> yeah, that I just carry with me everywhere. It's not it's not weird at all. <laughs> and these creepy little clowns noses. These are awesome too. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Hold on to my red ball. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so how old uh, are you guys? Blake, how old are you? Uh, I'm twenty two. And Jay, how old are you? I am forty. Okay, so twice yeah. the age, twice the fun. Perfect. Ex- exactly. Yes. Okay, so how <laughs> how long have you both ha- been doing magic? Um, Jeff. I've been yeah, I've been doing magic uh, almost twenty years professionally, oh, okay. uh, and in total about twenty two years. I got into magic pretty late in life, uh, not until my late teens, and uh, so yeah, so about uh, twenty two years I've been involved in magic. And you said you're you're pretty much retired now, right? Just kind of yeah, I'm, I'm I'm semi-retired. I do uh, consulting, and like I, we were talking about, uh, I'm part of a show in the Dominican Republic, and it's called Curiosidades. Uh, we do shows down there for um, just big theater shows, television shows. Uh, we basically are a Facebook brand. We have about eighty-five thousand followers on Facebook all over the world. So. Um, most of my magic focus has been on that the last couple of years. So I used to perform at Walt Disney World. I was there for about 12 years, did about 18,000 shows at Walt Disney World. So, yeah, wow. I've, put in, I've put in my time. I've put in my time. There's a resume. It's, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like looking back over the years of the things I did, it's, it's kind of crazy. I would have never expected. I grew up in Kentucky. That's where I'm from. Would never have imagined that I would have gotten to see the world, uh, you know, basically doing card tricks. So, and I'll, I'll let Blake jump in now. <laughs> yeah, fo- following that up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and follow that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, after my stay at the Monte Carlo. No, I'm just um, no uh, basically I've been doing magic for about uh, 11 years now. I just was thinking about doing the math. It was, I was 11 years old when I started. So, um, yeah, just doing magic for 11 years. Um, I, don't, I think that was the only question. But, yeah, like Jay said, it's, it's amazing um, who you can meet, where you can go through magic. Because um, I think where Jay was kind of going is that magic touches a lot of people. And mm-hmm. so it's not just magicians that you get to meet, but people that love magic, for instance. So, yeah, you get to uh, – it's crazy when – I mean, I'm sure Jay and I could – we can all sit on this radio show and recount some stories together now. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, the people that you meet and then you think back and you go, wow, you know, that, that happened to me. It's, it's really cool. And, and the <laughs> fact that magic brought, brought you to that is even cooler. Yes. Absolutely. Would, would there be – can you think of a, a defining moment in your life that made you decide, hey – I want to learn magic. Is it? Can you remember that? Or, um, I I can for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I yeah. know you're. I know Jay. You're forty, and it was a long time. Ago. <laughs> right. Jay's but, like, um, uh, yeah. oh, sorry, I fell asleep there for a second, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot the sorry medicine that, today. I just, I was I just not off yet. <laughs> yeah. You had to go get some insure. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, but for me, I think it was the first time that I actually performed a magic trick. Um, and got the, re- and not, it sounds, I'm sure it was egotistical being like an 11 year old kid. I'm sure it was just all about me, but, um, yeah, just feeling, feeling that the, the magic was in the performance at that point, you know, I had known how it worked and then I went and showed my mom a trick and to get the response and to have genuinely, um, you know, shown her some magic, what appeared to me magic was just too cool for an 11 year old. So yeah. I was hooked. I was hooked like crack cocaine as soon as I, uh. <laughs> As soon as I did my first trick, so yeah, first one's free, right? Yeah, yeah first one's exactly. free. Yeah, then then you start then you start losing money. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what about you, you know, Jay? Uh, for me, it was you know I have a little bit different experience, obviously, because I got into magic uh, more as an adult, so I didn't have that uh, childlike wonder with it. I was into sports when I was younger, 
Uh, but for me, I remember distinctly uh, watching a TV show with a guy doing uh, a trick called Cups and Balls. Yeah, yeah. And he was doing it with uh, metal balls, like steel ball bearings. And he fooled me so bad that I was like, I really uh, want to do, I want to do that. You know, that's, I can see myself doing that. And uh, I had gotten into magic just a little bit before that, had sort of wandered into a magic shop randomly. And uh, after I saw that guy perform on TV, I, I knew that was uh, the career that I was going to uh, have for the rest of my life. So that was really the moment. There's a guy named Paul Gertner. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that's uh, Paul yeah. Gertner. That's awesome. Paul Gertner. Yeah. That's so cool so, to have to have remembered the uh, the exact trick. The, that moment. The uh, in fact, yeah. you know, the, they always say cups and balls. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a trick where uh, you have three cups and they're upside down and a little ball is moving between them. And uh, at the end, there's always some crazy, uh, gigantic thing that comes out from the cup, like a right. uh, like a little girl or something. You know, it's just outrageous what comes out of these cups. <laughs> and he produced this bowl. It was it looked like to me it was a bowling ball sized steel ball bearing out of this thing. And I was like. You have to be kidding me. That's not possible. And if it is, I want to do that. You know, yeah, that's yeah. that's sort of that feeling that I had was like my reality was just it was that rug being taken out from under you. You know, and I thought if I can share that feeling with other people, then you know I'm gonna live a really awesome life. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Point. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, you know, honestly, I can't remember the exact defining moment for mine. It's I remember, I mean, I was traveled a lot my my family was an air force family so um oh, wow. we drove everywhere we didn't fly to our next location we drove <laughs> you know the so, irony yeah. you know I, we i know right the air force and we drive Take a picture next <laughs> <dinner>. <laughs> and the, uh, the easiest thing for me to do to keep me busy was you know have a deck of cards yeah you know and i'd go and um go to libraries wherever we were and we i'd get books and my reading comprehension still is not real great to this day i'll admit it it's like a fifth right. graders probably i don't know <laughs> but when i read magic and i'm you know i'm reading it and i'm doing it then i learn it really yeah. well um, yeah. right and i was always fascinated about the movement with cards like i you know watching my dad shuffle cards as i was a kid he could shuffle them so fast yeah right. and I'd, I'd go man that looks incredible and we did go a couple of years after I was in the magic, we went to Vegas, my family, I was pretty young. Um, and we went to see a magician there and I cannot remember his name now. Um, and I was blown away. It was a big stage show, you know, lions and all this stuff, but it was mainly nice. the, the close up stuff that he was doing, the personal right. stuff that really got yeah. me into it. Absolutely. It was probably, uh, probably Jay Weathington is probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, no, I might've been, he's got a, yeah, it been. he's got that a whole, whole big that show. whole period of my life is a little blurry though. I'll be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I bet. No, it's the only the one thing I do remember is watching the show, going, "I want to do that," but yeah, that's do, awesome. Do man. I have to dress like that? <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. What is up with like? Thank goodness <laughs> yeah. for David Blaine and Chris Angel. You know, I know what I mean? right? Yeah. Jeez. Break yeah, the mold. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, forget the uh, crazy tuxedos and from 1970. You know, man. Update the wardrobe <laughs> a little bit, guys. I Let's know, go. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> is there um? a favorite kind of magic that you do i mean and can you explain what different kinds of magic there are sure yeah J jay go ahead yeah um my favorite type of magic i'll start there my favorite type of magic is uh close up uh specifically with uh coins i, I use old coins like morgan silver dollars uh and the reason i like that is because it's uh to me and this is no offense to any card magician that's out there because there are some really super amazing card slights but with coins it's really just you the coins and the audience yeah and part of it is the excitement of in a sense getting away with something right in front of people like <laughs> so you know sometimes you I'm just amazed myself at what goes by people, you know, it's, yeah. it's so, so for me that, that was the, uh, that was the, uh, draw to close up coin magic. And I've always been conversational. I like to talk to people. Uh, I'm introverted in my personal life, but when I'm performing, I'm very outgoing and, 
so I enjoy interacting with people and it was a for me it was a better way of doing that uh through through close up magic so uh nice. and then yeah Blake do you want to uh yeah I mean it's basically the same same as you I I um, not to offend any coin guys out there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but, no, for sure. Like cards, cards is where I started. Close up card magic is where I started, and that's where I constantly find myself falling back into. And like Jay said, the uh, coin magic is so raw, and um, sometimes it's not vulnerable. But you're out there kind of all alone, like you were saying, and there's no there's no 51 other cards to cover the secret that's going on. So, oh yeah. Um, but but yeah, card magic I love because because of that reason I get to take a break from um, the the sleight of hand for a minute. And my favorite type of card magic is just um, self working card magic, but but not the self working stuff that you find in the you know library um, magic book. Which yeah. nothing against that stuff, but there is some. Yeah, no. I mean, if, if if the lay world only knew about some of the amazing amazing performance pieces out there, just hidden in little magic books that you've never heard of. Um, I mean, it's mind-blowing stuff, just just miracles in these <laughs> books. And uh, that's why I love card magic, because for me, it's always been an issue of creating a performance around a piece. Mm. So the more the more time that I have to focus on the performance and not the uh, the sleight of hand itself, um, oh. the, be the better, which, which seems counterintuitive to the card magic course uh, that we teach on Udemy. But, you know... Um, yeah, once I, once you get that basis, it's funny what I don't use anymore. You know, I, I've spent 50 to 100 hours on one card move and got, you know, like borderline carpal tunnel just to do it. And, and you know, you don't even use it anymore. And I'm sure, Justin, you know how this is. Like, you just the simpler the better when you when it comes to magic. So, oh, yeah, um, absolutely. for sure, close-up cards and, and coins. I, I love it all. Just magic in general is so awesome. Yeah, that's magic good. Is, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's a nice thing. I mean, I tried... Um, stage magic once or twice actually yeah. my junior gear in high school I was in the talent show with a friend of mine Richard Millard and we did um, uh, a metamorphosis nice that was the big finale we built <laughs> the box out of my out of my ping pong table what that's <laughs> yeah. awesome yeah, we destroyed <laughs> my great. ping pong table it was weighed about 500 pounds jeez i can only wow. imagine it was ridiculous but that's in, so cool <laughs> instead of using um a round curtain or something we used uh -huh. like a 40 foot long pole <laughs> 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 so and it and, and all of that preparation and everything with that long pole and my buddy richard sets the pole on top of the box at the worst <laughs> angle possible so the uh. first the whole front left side of the auditorium could see what was going on oh no so it's like at, in retrospect i should have just used a circle but right <laughs> and, and, you know and w he was in the bag inside i had um he, was he had in put the bag. me in yeah he put me in the bag inside the box handcuffed right. me tied the bag shut me in there and locked the box like a metamorphosis is and then after the reveal when i disappeared or when he disappeared and ended up in the box I'm sitting there trying to get him out of the bag and it took like two minutes, which oh. seemed like a lifetime. Oh yeah. Jeez, My back was yeah. turned to the audience and see what had happened is his mom made the bag and she sewed the rope into the bag. So it would just sl would slip around in the rope or in the bag. Right. 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 Well, he shoved his hands through the bag and the knot slipped into the fabric. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm, I was up there. I was chewing on it. I was trying. To, <laughs> I was doing everything I could, man. It was terrible. Oh, dude, that's, that's so funny. Awesome. We all have stuff like that. Yeah, we still yeah. killed it. I mean, it was all, yeah. it was all garage bands and stuff. So we were the very last to go, and we didn't win anything. You know, they right. didn't give any prizes away, but we killed it. My right senior on. year, I tried stage magic again by myself. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, uh, I mean, oh my god! Any defining <laughs> moments in that in that act? Did in you that... care to? Uh... Oh man! <laughs> you know, it started off really good, but I didn't get any time to uh, to rehearse because all the garage bands took up all the time practice time. Right. And so one of my buddies ran the lights for me and the sound, and I came out on stage and it was pitch black. I had my head down and my hands behind my back, and this awesome pose basically that i thought was cool and the, during the music the lights pounded and it came on really bright and then turned off and it just showed me real quick and everyone went nuts they were just loving wow. it wow. and from that point on it was i did a uh um 
all I did was I was flicking cards out into the audience. Oh, um, that. that was just the start and the intro of the show. And then I did a uh, a comedy piece. But the problem with it is they didn't give me a microphone. <laughs> oh, and so yeah. to this audience in the oh. auditorium, I'm like, can I have a volunteer, please? And it was, yeah. you know, and I'm trying to have this funny thing. And I could just see people in the back like, I can't hear him. So right. it, was, it was horrible. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, that's I feel your pain. Yeah. Yep. Luckily, yep. there was no video because the show went like three and a half hours. <laughs> there's, there's no evidence out Nothing. there. Nope. It's all in my head. Burn it. Uh, Burn it. <laughs> little did you know, Justin, we actually tracked down a copy of video. <laughs> Amateur video shot that day. <laughs> oh, that's great. We'll be posting it later this afternoon. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, guys, let's let's go to a music break real quick. And um, when we come back, we can talk about uh, your course on Udemy. Awesome. Does that sure. sound good? Perfect. Okay. Sounds great. Cool. I'm going to play a cool remix of Fight for Your Life by my Sit buddy uh, Tyrant. We'll be right back with you guys. And we put it on disc. It's the old style. Kick it. Come <laughs> on. 
right, welcome back, everybody. That was Fight for Your Right by Tyrant. You can find some of his music and his beats at ittybittybeatclub.com. Most Itty of his bitty beats, beats, they're like <laughs> 10 bucks. It's catchy, too, right? Itty bitty beat. It beat. is. Nice. I like it. Yeah. He, says it he says it super <laughs> fast, too, whenever I ask him. He's like, it's uh, Itty Bitty Beats. <laughs> hey, what's that website again? Itty Bitty Beat Club. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So... We were talking a little bit about uh, Udemy and teaching classes online. And before we get into that, I kind of want to explain to people what Udemy is that for having, the ones that haven't heard the show before or know what it is. Udemy sure. is a an online education source or what I like to call independent, independent education. Mm -hmm. You can go on, you can learn anything from Photoshop to becoming an author, um, now magic. Um, a lot of computer stuff. A majority of it, I've noticed, you guys maybe have too, is that a lot of it is web design in Photoshop. Exactly. That's a huge, huge part of it in photography. Photography, yeah. yeah. Um, but the more people that come on there and make courses, the better. Like, you guys are right. the first ones to put magic on there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Which is pretty I, exciting. It's really great. I thought about doing that, but I haven't done it in so long, and I don't, right. I couldn't do it at this point. <laughs> yeah. But they have, I think, over 400,000 students now. Um, yeah. Udemy it's just got $12 million to expand. Yeah. So yeah. they're growing really big because a lot of people are trying to learn a trade now, you know, and yeah. can't afford to go to college just to learn exactly. a skill like photography or Photoshop or magic. They, yeah. I couldn't afford that. The yeah. internet is opening all of that up for us. The technology that we have now is just, it, I think a lot of education is going to start moving this way. Yeah. You know, I think it, it just makes more sense. As mobile as everybody is, there's what four, what is it, four billion people are now connected mobily. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's an amazing number, and Udemy is a is really a lot of fun. Uh, I've had a lot of fun just kind of looking around and seeing what's out there. So it's really interesting. Yeah, and the courses yeah. are, are super cheap. Like. I mean, let's talk about your course. Yours, uh, Hacking Perception, a modern guide to card magic. You guys sell it for $49. That's cheap. Right. I used yeah. to pay like $30 for a VHS tape to learn yep. one set of tricks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. Your, guys is, your course teaches the fundamentals, it teaches tricks, how they're done. Yeah. I mean, your course, I love it. I took a look at it and I instantly love Thanks. it because I'm a magician. But right. uh, anybody, anybody would love your course i've seen some comments on your uh on your course regular people doing yeah. these magic tricks to their kids and loving it and yeah, loving the, feed it. the feedback's been awesome that's the that's the best part is knowing that people are actually learning it and then going mm -hmm. out and performing it because it's it's not worth anything if you don't show it to anybody else yeah exactly you know exactly. um so you know, yeah you to me and anything like that is just i think that model is uh so drastically different from what we're used to that it's going to take people a little bit that they to understand that you know forty thousand dollars versus a forty dollar course on udemy and it's basically the same thing you know just mm -hmm. it's it's mind-blowing so i i think uh that model is it's pretty phenomenal yeah it's it's amazing and the other thing i like about it is the ability to um market yourself and create yeah. your own your own coupons and your codes exactly. and things like that. Like you guys, for the listeners, the one, the guys that are listening, you've created a coupon called code called um, Card Magic, and mm -hmm. that's for ten dollars off, right? Yeah, yeah, that's and all so, in uh, all in caps, Card Magic, and that's just going to give them a yeah, it's going to discount it to thirty dollars actually, so it's nineteen dollars. Oh, off. nineteen, that's right. Yeah, which is and, kind of a weird number, but <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. It's a good round number, though. Right. Um, and there's and for everyone listening, I'll put all these coupons and things and the the links and websites. They'll be in the show notes after the show, so you can click on them and just go and take their course because it's amazing. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think there's 20 of those, and and check out um, all the performances. I should say, sorry, most of the performances are on there for free to view, um, so people can get a little flavor of what that um, trick is actually going to look like. Yeah, uh, yeah, we sort of break it down in a way that that I think we all would have wanted to be taught when we were growing up doing magic, which is you know here's the trick, here's what makes it up, you know the parts that go into it, and then we put it back together <clears throat> into the actual performance of it. So I know that Jay uses the uh, the guitar um, thing a lot, which is where you say learning magic's like a guitar, 
-hmm. and you have to learn the chords or at least the basic you know you can learn 10 chords and pretty much play yeah. every song in the world now not to say that there's not songs out there that deserve their respect outside of those 10 chords but for the most part you know every song 10 chords magic's the same way so we really mm -hmm. wanted to just lay down a solid baseline uh jay and i cut out a lot of fat from this course mm -hmm. things that we just wanted to teach because we like magic so much but we really said do they need this is this relevant and yeah. um really just wanted to give the S slimmest and, and the best way possible slimmest um, most um, compact education on card magic to really um, get people hooked because a lot of people um, they they're introduced to magic in such a wrong way yeah uh, and that's why they don't get hooked because there's no building blocks and and all it is is a one-off trick you know open up the package read the instructions and there you go yeah and that's what I was talking about when somebody asked me if I teach them a trick to go talk to a girl it's like you know they're gonna learn this trick just for one reason and they're not gonna learn it well and right. they're gonna go and butcher it to some girl and that girl won't care <laughs> exactly so, you know. exactly yeah. right so, yeah. and then you have two people that don't like magic then <laughs> right yeah exactly <laughs> like right. the guy and, and, doesn't like it anymore the girl doesn't like it anymore it's yeah. ruined and yeah you know yeah it's just one of those things that i I wish I would have had your guys' course when I was younger, like you said. I mean, when I was growing up, of course, I'm 30, so we had VHS tapes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> I am there with you. <laughs> I, uh, I remember going to Tacoma, Washington, and there was a magic store there. And this guy at the store was trying to sell me anything he could. And he was trying to push this uh, self-levitation, the Balducci levitation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to learn that. <laughs> and so he goes over and he's talking to some people. And I just glance over, and here he is doing the levitation, and it destroyed my brain. Right. I was like, how in the yep. world is he doing yeah. that? So I paid thirty nine ninety nine for a VHS <laughs> tape, what? and I watched it on the way home in our big van. Yeah. And I and I found out how it was done, and I went, really? Oh. Yeah. Forty dollars. Yeah. 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 I that was yeah. actually the first magic VHS that I ever got was a was a learn to levitate one with that trick on it and oh, wow. and it, it was like a two week two week blow to the heart of like wow <laughs> wow that's all it is yeah it, it, it's funny though when you like when you take your course it, it opens up your brain more because when you learn those fundamentals like you said you can kind of pick apart and learn almost any trick exactly you know yeah, it's, exactly. it's amazing right. You know, right. when, when we were talking about the course in the beginning, when Blake and I first started having the idea that this is something that we wanted to do, it's exactly what we talked about was to give somebody a tool set so that they can create their own magic, not just be tied to the tricks that we're teaching you, mm -hmm. but that it has, there's broader applications of those slights or the principles. So, yeah, you could go, I don't, you know, necessarily suggest doing it, but you could go on YouTube and look at a YouTube video of somebody doing a card trick. And once you know basic slides, you can sort of deconstruct it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, yeah, and, and speaking of YouTube, the, I used to do that all the time with YouTube. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I I can't stand about YouTube is, and I talked about this last show, is that you look up one thing and you get to the end of the video and you're expecting to learn more about it and you right. can't find the next video. Yeah, you know that's right. why I love you to me because you exactly. yeah you do have to pay for it sure right but right. you get the entire session in one thing you know yeah you know yeah. the the interface of the hand Blake and I were talking about it this week how when you take the course and it automatically moves you through it yeah that's just such a beautiful yeah it's just a very well thought out uh, experience mm -hmm. for the student and you, know? and you can take notes on the right side. Yeah, you know, it's which is great, yes. and it timestamps it. So if you just want to go back and review, you just type review, mm -hmm. hit enter, and it'll say you know lecture ten minute two and twenty seconds. Right on, and, yeah. and it'll take you right back to where you it need is, to be. Yeah, it's it blows my mind, and you know like um, it just gives like you were saying, Justin. Like anyone that has any sort of knowledge to share, it's such an accessible platform to put that knowledge up. I mean, literally, we shot the content, and you to me. Um, and this is sound like a pitch for you to me, but I just it really is like so so um, refreshing to have a site like that to where you don't have to do the whole process. Because as as artists, I would I, I know Jay considers himself an artist, and as I get more back into magic, I 
the business side of it is less and less appealing. So to be able to just focus on bringing only our expertise um, to the to the experience, to the user experience, which is magic, and not having to worry about marketing and all, all that kind of stuff, it's just really phenomenal. So yeah, love love you to me, and um, definitely yeah. excited to have a course up there. Yeah, they, sure. they've definitely done it right. I mean, yeah. They do take a small percentage, which is fine, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I, at first, I had a problem with that because I thought, you know, I should be making every penny. Right. <laughs> the more I think of it, the money that uh, the money I'm making there is more than I'm making without it being there. Exactly. Right. You know, so yep. the little percentage that they take, that's fine. I haven't made a ton of money yet on mine. It's right. I've made $110, but... That's one hundred and ten dollars I didn't have. You didn't have, yeah, dude. Yeah, so. and you're and, and you're talking to people. You're making connections, and now you know you've got you know Jay and I, and and we've got a connection with you, and it's just this kind of stuff is it just opens you up to everything, and and doing what you love. You know, Jay and I talk about this a lot. It's just being in. Jay calls it your bliss, and I think that's great. Just mm -hmm. you're doing what you want to be doing right now, and and the pieces of the puzzle come together for you for sure. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so absolutely. it'll be like magic. <laughs> oh wow! He just went there. He did I brought just go it there. around, dude. I had yeah. to bring it back. In. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went off on a little little love tangent there, and I had to bring it back around to the <laughs> back to magic. Yeah. Back to reality. Here we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you guys, uh, without giving it away, do you plan on doing more courses on Udemy? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Are Lots. you staying in the magic realm? Yeah. No. Well, 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 yes and no. Yes. Well, Jay, go <laughs> ahead. I let me. Let, I I think why Jay's saying no is it's gonna it's gonna because as you said in the beginning, Justin, magic is so much more than magic. Mm -hmm. It's going to naturally branch off into what magic is. Like again, oh. how Jay said, how to read people, how to uh, perform. You know, how to be a performer out, even outside of magic, just living mm -hmm. your life as a performer, um, and also. Uh, like you were saying, uh, Justin, again, these, the ability to have an online education, Jay and I had discussed the possibility of basically boxing up a really streamlined course of, you know, become a working magician in 30 days. We teach you how to do some solid acts, teach you how to go out and approach um, the contacts you need to, to approach to start getting gigs, and, you know, giving someone a, a, a basically a profession or a, a, a trade in this, in this economy. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, That's there's a lot of... Here. Yeah, but Jay, what were you gonna say? If I was that, any, if that was any different? No, that was exactly what I was gonna mention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Word for word. Yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thanks for reading my mind. Yeah. Out of my <laughs> head. Yes. The mental script. Yeah. Exactly. So that was that was the the effect that we were doing on the radio there just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good though. I mean, and like you said, there's so many ways to connect with people with Udemy and. I have probably, I don't know, 200, 300 more people, you know, in my life than I thought I ever would. Wow. And it's like worldwide, you know, yeah. I have some people over in the UK. I have people um, in Russia. It doesn't matter. Wow. Yeah. Um, yep. It's all one language. Everyone wants to learn. And yep. like I say constantly, I think if we could possibly get the United States to have cheap education it'd be a different world yeah you know we talk about that all the time too yeah it's, there's um... there's a genius out there waiting but can't afford the education yeah, yeah you know there's a lot of studies uh in some of my other businesses i do consulting work and uh, brand studies and uh one of the big trends is moving away from a traditional middle class into knowledge working Mm. And that's going to be one of the next big industries. And if the United States is smart, uh, you know, instead of trying to gather more manufacturing jobs and things like that, we'd inspire, you know, our kids to really go after their dreams and become knowledge workers and, and create again instead of being based, a, you know, a consumer based uh, society. So, yeah, it's like they say, you know, it's better to create a job than to have a job. Yeah, because yes. when your waters, when you, when you raise your own waters, and then you can raise the waters of everyone around you, mm. that's that's the 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 most beautiful way of doing business. You know, mm -hmm. just trying to help other people have an an unbelievable and amazing life as well. You know, yeah, yep. uh, 
we we don't have to be stingy with it. We can no. we can sh- we we can share bliss <laughs> with everybody. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, Udemy is amazing for that too. It's just it, the variety of courses was pretty stunning to me actually when I started digging around. You know, I've I have interest in psychology and physics and. There's courses on there for that stuff, and it was, yeah, which yeah. was really, really amazing. So, yeah, yeah I've been really impressed with Udemy the, uh, all the way, and especially with how open they are with, uh, and I'm assuming the students are the same way, but they've been awesome with us as instructors mm-hmm. uh, communication-wise, you know, just being, it doesn't seem like you're dealing with a, a faceless you know, website, right. they're, they're very personable. So Yeah, that's like when, yeah. when you're on Udemy, and if you do find a set of, of tutorials or something, it's really difficult to talk to the instructor. Yeah. You know? And I've uh, noticed on Udemy, the, the feedback, you, they send messages directly to you, yeah. and you get notified, yep. and you can talk right back to them. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, um, it's changing the face, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've, they've done a really nice job very nice job with it for sure yeah so how long do you guys think until your next course is up uh very soon soon, yeah we finished uh all of the videos this week uh while blake was down here visiting with me in florida and uh uh, that should go up this week should have all the editing and all of that stuff uh done and uh so yeah hopefully it'll Hopefully, if if everything works out the way that I have it scheduled out, it'll be up this week. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then that's yeah. actually gonna be um, that's gonna uh, the card magic course was um, was primarily um, actually well uh, as far as putting it together, it was both of us for sure. But the card magic course is primarily me, and then Jay, uh, his specialty, like he said, is coins. So that next course is actually gonna be a same idea with the card magic course, giving a, an extremely good slim baseline for um, coin magic and getting uh, coins in people's hands. And it's got some really awesome worker pieces in there for sure. Oh, sweet. Absolutely. Oh, that, I'm yeah. definitely going to yeah. watch that one. I was always afraid of coins. Like you said, it's you're really vulnerable with coins. Yeah. There's nothing really to are. hide behind. And as much as I could practice it and get <laughs> a lot of it done, it seems like I just couldn't get the nerve to do it with Yeah, anybody. you know. We, and in the course, uh, I give a lot of pointers on how to overcome things like that because uh, I experienced the same thing when I was learning coin magic. So, you know, along the way, you know, just from, you know, performing all over the place like I have, you learn a lot of different things. So there's little yeah. tips and, and tricks that, you know, you can do for yourself to overcome some of those challenges. So, oh, that's yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, to some, it. some good stuff in there for sure. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Well, yeah. guys, I, I really appreciate you being on the show. Thank you so much, Justin. No, this thank you so fun. much, Justin. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is awesome. And like I said, you guys, everybody go to Udemy. I'll throw the, the link on the show notes afterwards, but you can go to Udemy yeah. and just search for Hacking Perception yeah. and check out their course. It's really great. And like I said, there's they have the coupons right now. I'll throw that on the yeah. show notes so you can get $19 off yeah. and uh, yeah. take advantage check of it. Check that out. Yeah, for uh, sure. sure. And um, we're always There's... putting, you know, free magic and stuff up. So Justin, I'll let you know whenever we put some free magic out anywhere, and um, you can yeah. check that out. And, and yeah, absolutely. For sure. And I believe absolutely. you only have until the 25th of February to get your coupon. It is. Limited. Yeah, that's and until the 25th. And they'll go fast. So make sure and head over and get your coupon as quick as you can. Because <laughs> yeah. it's once you once you join Udemy, it's lifetime access. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, get in now while they have the discount because if you guys ever update your that course and add more content, you could raise the price. Exactly. You know, so get it while it's cheap. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Sure. It's, sure. It's it's a limited time engagement. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, guys, um, like I said, I appreciate you being on the show. I think we'll have to have you both on the show again. Awesome. For yeah, sure. I would love to do it again for we'll sure. Yeah, a, this is awesome. Some more magic and, uh, talk. Yeah, we're cool. gonna we'll do some um, some some cool stuff, some Google Hangouts, and uh, and for sure, let's maybe uh, do some magic on the air next time. Maybe some we'll figure out some radio magic tricks or something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. very cool. All right, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks thanks for having us on. Thanks everybody for listening. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, we'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks. All Justin. right, see you guys. Yep, see you, Jay. Have a good one, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.
Again, thank you. That was Blake Douglas and Jay Weathington. I'm going to have them on the show again. Thank you, everyone, for listening to Live Speak. Tune in next Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time for another show with more instructors. Take care. <laughs>